Hey yo, imagine being Wally. Don't even inhale to breathe, my G, because I'm about to get on that ass. Like, how the hell can this portable trash compactor find love, but the rest of y'all can't? Man's is actual friends with a cockroach, and half of y'all only got friends on the internet. Get it together and be like Wally. Wally out here looking like a rusty college mini fridge. Wally out here looking like Plex off of Yo Gabba Gabba. Wally built like a 2007 iPhone charging block. Wally look like a 1990s gaming console. You know, damn well your broke ass needed that ring. I don't know why you threw it away. I think that ring is worth more than the budget it took to build you. Wally built like a construction toy for kids. Wally looked like a robotic demonic jack-in-the-box. Wally looked like the Megazord from Power Rangers that never gets used. Imagine being Martha Speaks. Martha was an average dog. She went and average dog her ass built like a hot dog bun her ass built like an overweight banana martha big ass built like a twinkie father say do not let the buy 600 pound life people see you they gonna get mighty hungry this really begs the question though if your dog started speaking to you what would you do when she ate some alphabet soup then what happened was bizarre what irresponsible ass broke ass redneck ass owners is letting their dog eat alphabet soup bro if you don't take your ass to petco pet smart Aldi's, Walmart, the plug on the corner of 80 and 45th Street to get some damn dog food? Stamp, y'all know Peter don't play. Why would y'all even do this? On the way to Martha's stomach, the letters lost their way. They traveled through her brain. This reject ass Albert Einstein. Get the hell up out of here. I don't trust anything a word you say. You wearing quagmire shirt, boy. Elderly giggity giggity looking at. I got this request on my Instagram to do peg and cat, and I'm gonna do it. But I wasn't mentally prepared for what the hell came next on my damn screen when I looked it up. What the hell was this point? drawn bs supposed to be like bro this makes how you look like a four billion dollar film with 4k streaming Shut your poorly playing ukulele. We're seeing the hairline have an ass up. I'll stamp you out here looking like Bobby Hill with long hair. Why the hell does this cat look like an emo Garfield? You can only count one, two, one, two, three, four, because you can barely make it to five. I'll stamp my man's cat over here was trying to make his damn card house and have a nice day, but your loud ass want to make all that damn noise. Uh. This is the worst freaking theme song I've ever heard in my damn life. Talking about Peg Plus Cat, what's two plus so you need to take your little ass back to kindergarten? Cat, what the hell is that ugly ass little dance you doing looking like an undead pear? Hey, yo, imagine being Wow Wow Wubsy. I don't give two dams or two shits. Hop your happy ass back in the bed. This big old yellow peeps mushroom that escaped the packaging for Easter. Why the hell did we give this demonic Walmart pillow pet a TV show? This man's body built like an iPhone charging block. What animal is this? Mort off of Madagascar. I didn't know you had a twin brother. This man's got the tail of Pikachu, but the body of the beanbag chair over there in the side of my room. Bro, you own a whole house and you old as hell. Why the hell you got these butterfly chandeliers on? Get your maturity up before you talk to me with this jello ass bed. Widget, you built like a tampon somebody dipped in some pink lemonade. Why are your ears so alert? Your ears look like conducting rods. Fake ass bubblegum sandy cheeks. Walking with their friends, he's really smart. Nobody give a damn about Walden nerdy ass. His head built like a grape that never got picked from the pack. Wow, wow, Wubsy part two. He's not even that smart. Y'all just dumb as hell. Like, bro, your best friends with a birth control pill and a sorry excuse for a SpongeBob. I don't give a damn if you know about science. I don't give a damn if you know about books. You probably went to imaginary university like shit. And you definitely don't know nothing about art with your hat looking like a burnt hot dog. <laughs> This Twizzler 2000 ass bike. Wait a minute, hold up. Something ain't right here. Law, look at how far the pedals are. Look at they short ass legs. They can't even reach the damn pedals. How are they controlling this contraption? This don't make a lick of sense. Like someone please explain to me how Wubsy's little body ass is gonna reach these pedals. Bro, Walden don't even got pedals in the back. What are you pedaling? You're not even steering. <laughs> Wubsy, you ain't have to do widget like this. And you definitely ain't have to do Walden like this. Feet looking like potato slices, your strong leg ass. You know you done messed up. Don't be looking shy. All right, bruh. Imagine being Pablo from the backyard again. For those who don't know, the ugly duckling started an acting career. You prepubescent Daffy Duck looking ass boy. Why in the world are you the only character in the whole show who is basically naked? Like, all you wear is this little baby bow tie and this little helicopter hat. Yo, broke ass can't afford no clothes, so you just leaving your body out in the air. Ugh, boy, don't be looking at me like this you predatorial ass penguin god damn r kelly back the hell up from my screen oh boy you think you look cool if you don't get your i'm an international super spy super spy
looking ass. Oh boy, look at that big ass head. Your head out here looking like a blue snow cone. Your head built like a bowling ball. Your head look like rabbit droppings. Yeah, damn boy, your head is like a marble with a beak on it. Oh boy, your fat ass need to stop eating because your body built like an egg. Your body built like a light bulb. Yeah, damn boy, I don't know how them little ass waddling feet are supporting that fat ass body. Hey, so I got like a request in my DMs about another roast and this man asked me to roast cat scratch. What the hell is a cat scratch? I thought it was a type of infection or something. But hold on, this is what it is. What the hell is this supposed to be? When the hell did the Geico lizard have children? That's besides the point. What the hell is this candy corn with teeth supposed to be? What the hell is this demonic plushy pet supposed to be? Bro out here looking like an orphan ferret. Plankton, what the hell did you go to Chicago? And what the hell did you get your other eye back? Like, bro, who threw you on a barbecue and left you on there for too long? I now tree frogs from the Amazon. We ain't asked you to do all this now. And what the hell are the rest of these? Oh shit, y'all. We got the British waiter named Sebastian. And then we got Dollar Tree Door. Let's get it. Yo, imagine being Bruno from Encanto. This man has to have the worst freaking family in Disney history. They made a whole diss track about this man. And the messed up part is that the whole thing was catchy and arguably one of the best songs of the movie. And you know what the crazy part is? Even when he left after seeing Mirabelle's future, nobody came looking for him. Man, forget we don't talk about Bruno, man. Y'all didn't even go look for Bruno. Like, man's could have been dead all this time and y'all would never know. But Bruno, at the same time, you gotta get it together, man. You out here looking like a homeless emo child. You got the same nose as Squidward. My goodness. This man's look like Lin Manuel Miranda. Hamilton never made it on Broadway. I swear this man found himself a rat. Now he's trying to remake the Ratatouille movie. Yo, imagine being the Teletubbies. What the fuck kind of Dollar Tree rainbow LGBT dolls are these? I cannot believe someone had the nerve to make these fake ass M&Ms a goddamn show. Like these motherfuckers out here looking like oversized babies in onesies. They're looking like chimpanzees that never had a family. And why the fuck are three of them white and one of them black? Why is it always the token black dude? God damn these fake ass PBS kids among us characters and shit. Like why the hell Dipsy got this fake ass unicorn horn on the top of his head? Like he looks like he's about to go stick his horn somewhere that's very unpleasant. Then you got Lala dumbass looking like a fake ass Pikachu and shit with that dusty ass thunderbolt on the top of her head. Someone get this period blood Kool-Aid mix off my goddamn screen. And what the fuck kind of name is Tinky Winky? You got a goddamn hanger on top of your fucking head. Get your life together. Yeah, I'm obsession with Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, imagine me and Gregory. Okay, who the hell lost a fifth grader? Cause what the hell? This boy looks like he should be in an after school program right now, not out here fighting demonic dolls and shit. Like, bro, how old are you? 10? 11? Eight and a half? Like, the outfit is giving me, oh yeah, I just escaped my country club because I want to go live in the hood. Like, bro, you're not built for that life. Just stop it. You look like a live action Lego character. You look like a sophisticated Ben 10. This photo tells me everything I need to know. This boy looks petrified. This boy looks bamboozled. This boy looks confuzzled. His eyes look like he just stored like 40 ounces of cocaine. In this picture, I can't tell if he's about to morph into an alien or he's communicating with Zordon from Power Rangers. This boy look like a young Tom Brady. He look like Justin Bieber if he never spiled out of control. He look like every young male anime protagonist. Like, bro, decide which show you want to be on, then we can talk like adults. Okay, I have a question. In your opinion, what is the worst Pixar movie? I have three. I swear to God, y'all better not be coming in my comments talking about, oh, that was my childhood. Fuck your childhood. Monsters University. Cars 2. Especially the good dinosaur were the worst damn Pixar movies I've ever seen. This shit should have never been made. They should have just made a sequel and kept it moving. Like, I love me some Monsters, Inc., but I did not care that much to see their goddamn backstory. Get this buck tooth bitch off my goddamn screen right now. Let me just explain to y'all how bad this movie was, and maybe it will finally click in some of y'all brains. They never addressed the events of this movie in Cars 3. That's how bad it was. They ignored all events that happened in this movie. And finally, this piece of shit. And I don't want none of y'all fucking saying, oh my god, it was an emotional story then and then. Bitch, how the fuck am I supposed to emotionally connect to a fucking dinosaur? And a child who can only ooh uh, and ah. Uh. Damn, the shitty ass G-rated dinosaur. That's why your dad got swept away by the current. You know why? I just woke up wanting to drop kick the shit out of Camilo today. Not if we don't have a house. What? We don't have a house. I can't say we don't have a house. What is that? Not a house. Okay, first of all, you fake ass Bruno Mars, shut the hell up. Bruno Neptune like shit. Over here wearing a bed sheet as a damn jacket. I know that's a poncho, everybody shut up. Talking about some, oh, we don't have a house. Boy, how about you get your lazy ass up and build one? Yeah, damn, hair looking like some burnt ass stovetop spaghetti. Seven foot frame, rats along 
Boy, you out here hanging with the New York sewer rats. That is never a good look. That man is gonna give you all the diseases in the world, including AIDS. Also, seven foot frame my ass. We all saw Bruno at the end. That man is built like a fourth grader. Maybe the last time you saw him was when you were five years old. That's why he looks so tall. But ain't no way this low budget Lin Manuel Miranda is damn near seven foot. This man got the same height as Kevin Hart, so calm down. Imagine being Caillou. You're getting to be a big boy. That statement was a damn lie because your ass been four years old since 1997. Your mama talking about something. You're getting to be a big boy. Dollar store, Mrs. Claus. I don't want to hear that. This boy still got training wheels on his bike. And don't think your daddy will save either his ass over here dressed like a big ass bottle of Mountain Dew. Why the hell you got on these Santa L6s? I'm surprised y'all were able to find a helmet to fit his big ass tumor head having ass. But we all know Caillou will manage. He probably spun back around the block and kick his sister off their damn tricycle. Thank you. I'll share them with you. I'm you are a make-a-wish kid. You are not Caillou. There is no way you can still be bald at four years old. Come on now. Either you pulling a Jada picket or you trying to be a lover from Stranger Things. Both of them are bad ideas. And what the hell did y'all do to this disfigured ass cat? Did your badass paint a blue eye ring around this man's eye? What the hell? That's me. Ong from The Last Airbender. Nobody asked you to speak. Thank you.